Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing three cryptocurrencies which are Chainlink, Kusama and Synthetix Network Token. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis for free. While if you want to receive on-demand analysis on whatever kind of asset you might want me to analyze, uh, then you might want to join our growing Patreon community. You will find the link in the description field. You will also find the link for our seminar on January the 3rd, where we'll be dealing with investing and trading with cryptos and stocks. Let's start our analysis with chain link against US dollar. As you can see here, we have a daily chart, which means every candle is a daily one. In the upper section, we see the price action, while beneath, we have the magnum cycles and another kind of cycles. We will see right now how they can help, uh, they can help us in analyzing the uh, asset. So what we see here is actually I've designed an ascending triangle by linking all these point of lows and uh, these two important uh, point of highs. This one is the all-time high with, with two relative point of highs. So what it might happen over the next days. So what we see here in terms of cycle is actually a chain link seems to be in a weakness uh, momentum right now because the a white curve is oriented downwards which means the derivative is oriented downwards. In other words we have more chances to see chain link keep going down rather than uh, going up. Same for the cycle. We see that both the two curves, the azul one and the red one, are oriented downwards, which is obviously a negative signal. We are still not close to the lower band from where normally we see a rebound from chain link. It happened here in December 19, when actually the two curves hit the lower band. It happened here again from where we have experienced a huge run up. And also here, actually, we have another point of low around eight uh, US dollar. But now let's give some price prediction for the next uh, days. So what it might happen is that if we break above the uh, oblique resistance, uh, which is something I do not predict happening uh, uh, over the next uh, days, it might be more uh, over the end of January or February, then if we break above this oblique resistance, we are definitely going to hit the all-time high around 20 US dollar. Right now we are at 19, uh, sorry, 11 US dollar, which means almost it will be almost a 100% gain and it will be happening over a few days, over a few weeks, because when we break above in this case, the oblique resistance, what normally happens is that the asset skyrocket. So once hitting the 20 US dollar threshold, we will see period of squeezing, and then we will be breaking above the 20 US dollar. Uh, after the break of the 20 US dollar, we can definitely see Chainlink hitting 32 US dollar over the first semester of 2021. How can I calculate 30? Uh, 2 US dollar is given by the difference between 20 US dollar and uh, this point of lows, which actually are creating a sort of rectangle at 8 US dollar. So 20 minus 8 is equal to 12. 12 plus 30, sorry, 12 plus 20 gives us a 32 US dollar as prediction for. 2021 if we are breaking above this area which is something quite uh, possible okay so we have eight out of ten chance to see uh, chain link breaking above this oblique resistance also let's not forget that we are inside a strong bullish trend uh, the momentum right now is negative uh, as i've been stating here observing the two cycles the magnum cycles and the, the, the other cycle uh, but once we will see turning uh, up the two curves for this kind of cycle and for the magnum cycles, then we will see a chain link skyrocketing first to 20 US dollar and then to 32 US dollar, which is actually my real target over 2021. Uh, since we are now at 11, it means almost 300% of gain uh, over the first semester 2021, which, which means actually we want to be a buyer for chain link but obviously we need to wait a strong break with volumes above the oblique resistance let's move on let's analyze synthetics network token uh, extremely 
um, good in terms of technical, in terms of mere technical analysis. What, what happened actually is that we have broken above the all-time high with an increase in terms of volume. Now we are retesting the all-time high. My strategy is to buy, so to be buy long uh, at the break of this area. So above 8.80 US dollar, I will be buying definitely synthetic signature token with at least 12, 13 US dollar as a price target for my strategy. Again, even in this case, uh, why or how I calculate 12, 13 US dollar is given by the difference between this point of highs and this point of lows. So here we have 7.5 US dollar from where we have experienced the actually uh, hold and hold time high and this area uh, at 4 US dollar which is the base of the rectangle okay so uh, 7.5 plus 4 uh, give us a 11.5 uh, which means I do believe we're going to hit at least 12 13 US dollar because normally what happens is that we always see some sort of uh, reversal beam ball before retracing from a certain area okay so 12 13 US dollar is my target for synthetics network token which means 80 90 percent from the current level now let's move on let's analyze Kusama Kusama actually is the very similar chart when when the compare with the synthetics network token and actually what happens here is that we have broken above the whole time high at 60 US dollar so very similar to what we've seen for synthetics network token you see here actually it's extremely similar and uh, from at the very beginning uh, was hitting the all time high as usually happens and I very often suggest the traders is to actually to take profit because normally we see squeezing actually it's the same squeezing that we have seen with Bitcoin once hitting the 19500 US dollar free shot I was predicting a squeezing a period of uh, few candles uh, where actually the investor normally are quite in the size uh, related related to the what might happen once hitting the all-time high so under a mere psychology uh, psychological point of view what normally happens is that once we hit the all-time high we normally see a period of squeezing which actually happened even for Kusama but once we break above the all-time high then we can project a new price target given by the difference between the all-time high and the base of the rectangle so what we should be doing as analysts is trying to understand in terms of geometrical pattern where there is an important point of high or in this case an all-time high and then uh, where there is the base of the rectangle so in this case we see 60 US dollar minus uh, 30 US dollar which means 30 US dollar plus 60 we can definitely project Kusama hitting uh, uh, nine between uh, a price target between 90 and 100 US dollar okay so for Kusama my target is something around between 90 and 100 US dollar and what normally happens is that you might want to take profit before seeing the asset hitting a round number and the reason is because uh, the actually the whales tend to uh, sell to the retailers just uh, few seconds before uh, the asset might hit uh, uh, a round number okay so uh, what i normally suggest is ne no never to try uh, taking profit around uh, actually a round number in this case 100 us dollar but i always suggest to take profit a little bit before which means between 90 and 95 us dollar in this case okay guys if you want to receive any kind of on-demand analysis uh, you might want our join uh, our growing uh, Patreon community, you will find the link in the description feed. Also, on January the 3rd, I will be uh, holding a seminar where I will be treating uh, all the main cryptocurrencies and of course there will be space for on-demand analysis and uh, also for stocks, indices and uh, euro dollar. Thank you guys.